A favorite pacifier can be like a piece of gold to a young child and their parents. But the pacifier we're about to show you is altogether different. It is a high-tech idea being used to help premature babies learn to eat on their own. Channel 4's Ian Wright shows us how it works in today's Healthy for Life. He's such a good boy. Hillary Stenner spends every chance she gets with her son Tobin. He's three pounds, 12 ounces. He was born early at 28 weeks and three days. He's in the NICU, but he's making good progress. He's started nursing really great and done awesome and he's breathing good and he's he's just kind of thinks he's older than he really is. And Hillary's voice may be the reason why. Baby mine, don't you cry. Baby mine, dry your eyes. Tobin's pacifier is hooked up to a tiny machine. It plays a recording of his mom's voice when he uses it. And they get it within one or two tries. What they love think? their mom's voice. It's the work of a team at Vanderbilt, led by Dr. Natalie Matry. She tells me preemies take longer to learn to suck and swallow and struggle with eating. So they wanted to find a way to help them learn these important skills. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Her team studied 94 newborns, dividing the babies into two groups. One group got the musical pacifiers, the other group got regular pacifiers. During the three-month project, those with the special pacifiers learned to eat faster. It made feeding tubes go away within seven days, seven days faster than the babies who didn't get it. They were also able to go home several days before the other babies. John Schreier is now 15 months old. He was born four months early and weighed just one pound, eight ounces. This was his first diaper. You can see it fits in my hand. And this diaper was big on him. He also used the musical pacifier, and his mom watched as he responded to her voice. He would notice that it stopped and he'd start sucking again. So the point was for him to be able to learn how to suck and swallow so he could learn how to eat by mouth instead of through a tube, because he would, preemies can't do that. And finally, after 134 days, he was able to go home. For us, it was a way, something we could do that I could help him to grow and learn how to eat. And as mom Hillary points out, a mother's voice is powerful. I sang all the time when he was in my belly, so it makes sense that it would be good for him to hear. Research has shown that babies as young as 28 to 30 weeks begin to recognize their mother's voice while still in the womb. Doctors say it's not just about the health benefits here, it's a bonding experience as well. I'm Ian Wright, Channel 4 News.